Hello, this is the October 17th, uh, 2024 uh, Massachusetts Pirate Party member meeting. Um, <clears throat> my name is James O'Keefe. I live in Somerville. Um, also here, although he's not at the moment able to speak, is Joseph Onorowski in Lowell. Uh, and I know Steve may or may not be able to make it from Arlington. Um, otherwise doing his civic duty in his town. Good for him. And uh, also here is Eli. Uh, yeah, I'm Eli McGee. I live in Lemonster. Cool. All right. Um, anything to add to the agenda? Not that I can think of. Uh, oh, updated results. Ooh. All right. Um, let me see. All right. So for reports, um, B sides Cambridge went off last weekend. Uh, that was a pretty good event in Somerville with a lot of interesting, um, talks about computer security. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't recorded, um, but there were some interesting slides that I'll try and get put out there uh, soon. Um, uh, let's see, uh, an email update went out, uh, various blog posts have gone out. Um, that's all I have for reports ports uh oh um and then you know just getting ready for uh the upcoming anarchist book fair tabling that we'll be doing this weekend uh do you have anything eli uh no no okay thanks um and then uh let's see so for decision endorsements we uh have a set of ballot questions we put a poll out for folks they're actually updated results from what i had put up here uh so i will uh let's see so for question one, it was eight yes, two no, and one abstain. For question two, it was eight yes, two no, one none of the above, and one abstain. For question three, it was nine yes, two no, and one abstain. For question four, it was ten yes, two no. And for question five, it was twelve yes. Um, We, we did a summary um, previously about what the their various questions are. Um, but should we, it's so it, it looks like there's an overwhelming majority to endorse all five questions um, with either eight of 11 or well, eight of 12 um, or nine of 12 or 10 of 12 or 12 of 12. <laughs> so um, just wanted to, uh, so I guess I'll put it out there. Uh, should we just endorse, you know, endorse all five ballot questions? Uh, yeah, sounds like, a good, sounds like a good idea. All right. Uh, Joe, are you able to type something into the text? All right, well, I guess not. Uh, hearing no objections, um, we endorse all five questions and we'll post about that on the blog soon. 
Um, so for the winter conference, uh, these were the dates, as you can see here, for what dates worked best. Unfortunately, there was a shorter time for that, uh, for that poll to be out. But um, the updated results are reload again um currently two for saturday january 18th one for sunday january 19th three for saturday january 25th and one for january sunday january 26th um so the one that that seems to win out is saturday january 25th um should we go with that date then? So, sorry, Saturday, June, Saturday, January 25th. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, so then the winter conference will be Saturday, January 25th, which gives us three months to get that planned and, and find a location for it. Um, shall we say we should have a location in a month? So that would be two meetings from now. Yeah, two you should give enough time to scout things out. All right, great. Uh, okay, so um, any updates for U.S. Pirate Party? No, it's been, yeah, there's just been no major changes at all. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you for that update. Um, okay. So in terms of events, um, we've got um, the Anarchist Book Fair coming up um, this weekend. Uh, we'll have flyers, we'll have uh, buttons um, that we can make there um, and hand out. Uh, let's see. Uh, no other events planned except for Joe's campaign. Um, Joe is looking at having standouts the day before the monday before the election that would be november 4th and then having standouts at polling places on the 5th um does that work still work for you joe him being the candidate and all for 17th middlesex He's focused on his young ones. So um, uh, I guess we'll just talk about that and his campaign can pick the dates that he wants folks to come out and then it's, we'll do our best to turn pirates out for that uh, to help him out on the last days of his campaign. Um, so local updates, um, there's some stuff going on in Somerville in terms of stopping uh, or um, ending the shot spotter uh, there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so some folks are, including myself, are putting together a meeting um, to plan that out. And uh, we have you know, a month or two to kind of get that uh, that campaign together. Or that campaign active, I should say. Um, for video newsletter podcasts, so I know personally, sorry, um, I know personally um, Steve and I are going to be at the Anarchist Book Fair. Joe suggested the idea of trying to do a recording about October being cybersecurity. Um, so Steve and I can try and record something then 
Uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to come down for that, Eli. Um, and you would want to join us and we could just plan accordingly. Um, but my suggestion would be rather than doing a recording this upcoming weekend, um, if, if we get something, we'll just do it at the Anarchist Book Fair. Otherwise, we'd meet the following Sunday. Does that work for you, Eli? Uh, yeah, I should be able to go there too as well. Oh, cool. That'd be great. It's a fun, it's a fun, fun event. Um, so, okay. Uh, media outreach, any update on that? Uh, nothing on my end. Okay. No. So for voter outreach, I put this draft letter together, finally. Um, it's fairly standard. Um, I would say look it over. I'm, I'm wondering if it makes sense. I mean, we need to get it out, but at the same time, I want to respect the, um, the folks who are, um, you know, folks in our various city election divisions and town clerks with all that they have to do with the upcoming election. So I don't know if it makes sense to wait until after the election and then we'll have kind of updated information um, or which kind of would put us into like, like if we, they would be done, you know, probably done and hopefully relaxed a week after the election. So that would be November 12th. Um, you know, we could do something where we concentrate on all the cities, all the towns that are, have election dates in January, of which there aren't that many, um, and then reach out to them. Uh, and then the others we reach out to after November 12th. Does that sound like a good plan? Yeah. All right. I can put together a list of all the ones in January and then send that out to them. That'll kind of allow us to t update the the email probably better to do it sooner rather than later but also i can put something in here about you know we recognize you know, <laughs> you're in the middle of the election um so you know if if this stuff can wait until after that's perfectly acceptable to us um although we we'd certainly appreciate knowing the dates so maybe i can put the dates ahead for those um Although I, I'll see if the if the number is not too large, I can certainly go check their websites or um, even just give them a call. <laughs> like, what are the dates for your upcoming election? Thanks. Um, that might be an easier thing than just sending out an email. Thinking about it. All right. So one of these approaches will will work, but we'll get it. We'll we'll get the email out to all of them after November twelfth. Or by, let's say by November 12th. Uh, and then no update to local campaigns yet, except we did in the last email notify people, uh, supporters about um, the upcoming, uh, the, the list of elections uh, for, mun for a representative town meeting. So if you're in this town, you know, here's the, the things to think about. Probably makes sense to go through and somehow update our database with like different election types. So we can know like here are all the pirates who are in cities, here are all the pirates in um, open town meeting, elected town meeting, town council, um, or things like that. Uh, just for those of you who don't know, if you're in Saugus, 
uh, elect, you have a representative town meeting, there's 50 members, and uh, that election is the same as the state federal election uh, this November 5th. Not clear if that's every two years or every year or how many people are being elected, but I don't know, maybe I'll give Saugus a call and ask him. Uh, just for planning next year. Um, so with that, there's nothing else on the agenda. Um, hope Steve had a good time uh, at his uh, at the town. I think hearing he had to go attend. So uh, with that, shall we adjourn? Yes. Thanks. So for those of you who've gotten to this far, um, thank you very much uh, for watching our meeting. Um, we do often keep them very short, uh, even though we only meet every two weeks. So uh, I like to get those through those agendas as methodically and quickly as we can. But um, you too can, uh, participate in these. The information is on our website on the front page. Um, you can join our email list and we'll notify you about these as well. Um, check us out at masspirates.org and uh, we'd love to see more volunteers and candidates. So I uh, hope to see you at the uh, Boston Anarchist Book Fair. Uh, looking forward to seeing you, Eli. Uh, hopefully Joe will get a chance to come down. And so with that, have a wonderful uh, evening and a wonderful week. We'll talk with you in two weeks. Bye.